And we're back, guys. Welcome to Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host, Good Energy, where I give you the rundown in 60 seconds or less. But Iga's Fiontech's playing. I'm going to need a little bit longer than that. Now, listen, last year when Iga was on her win streak, I made a big fuss. As the defending champion, why was she not getting primetime matches? Well, here we are again. She's getting these early matches. And look, she likes them. She doesn't mind them. But she was a little upset last year not getting the primetime matches. And where are the fans at? We have a two-time, two-time champion. Where are the fans at? I would love to see Iga get more primetime matches because Iga is big time. Super duper big time. Now, of course, we all know she's a two-time champion. If she gets past Lesia Sarenko, she will either face Donna Vekic or Ludmilla, who have played her pretty tough on clay in the past. And Donna Vekic, we remember what happened last year at San Diego. She even won a set off of her. Ludmilla won a set off of her at Stugart. L Ludmilla almost ruined the win streak, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Ludmilla did win and end Iga's consecutive set win streak. But listen, guys, let's get right to it. We know Iga Fiontek plays great here in Rome. She's a two-time champion. But let's take a trip back down memory lane. The first year she won it, a couple years ago, she took out Allison Riss in the first round. Maddie Patty, Madison Keys, 7 5, 6 1, ouch. But Bora Kachikova, who always plays Iga pretty tough, that went to three sets. Alina Svitolina, when she was before the baby, when she was still playing good, she beat her 6 2 straight sets. Wow, that was bad. Corey Coco Golf, the best set she's ever played with Iga, came here a couple years ago in Rome. First set went to a tie break. Second set, uh, Iga ran away with it. And Pliskova, do not forget winning her first Rome championship against Carolina Pliskova from the hard-hitting Czech Republic. Two bagels. That's right, double bagel. Carolina Pliskova, two years ago. That was bad. Now, last year, another amazing run. She took out Gabriela Elena Russe in the first round. Ooh, that was ugly. A donut, yes. A bagel in the second set. 6-4, six, 6-1 six, over Victoria Azarenka. She beat Bianca Adresu BB on the beat. First set went to a tie break. Second set, another bagel. Sabalenka, she destroyed her. 6-2, six, 6-1. Six, and of course, back-to-back -back titles. She took out Anjabor, 6-2, six, 6-2. Six, now, Iga's Fiontech. Keys to victory here. Just play her game. Amazing serve placement. Now, listen, anyone that plays tennis know... The stronger servers, look, that is tiring. It takes a lot of energy to really blast 120, 130 mile per hour serves. Now, Iga doesn't have the strongest serve, but I, I think in some cases she does that to, to, to conserve energy. That's just my opinion. I mean, me playing tennis, I can tell you uh, when you're blasting 120 mile per hour serves, that gets tiring after a while and you can really exhaust yourself. So I don't know if she does it more for strategic reasons, but it works for her and it, it, it enables her to set up her, her amazing pattern play, her rhythm. And I just feel it puts opponents behind the rallies early because as soon as they return that serve at that amazing placement, she'll jam you in the hip. She's coming back with a rocket forehand winner. Let's get it on, guys. We have Lesia Serenko from Ukraine taking on Ika's Fiontech defending champion. 